I think uh, it's pretty clear we made a decision that uh, this week it was going to be the toughest to bat on day five. Um, so all the runs we wanted to score in our first innings, um, irrelevant of the, the, the time it took. Um, there's still plenty of time in the game. There's, there's two days left. Uh, you know, with a 140-odd run lead, um, which, which is exactly what we wanted. Um, if we could bowl them out for 200, 250 um, and knock off 100 runs, that would be ideal. So I think there's still a lot of time in the game. So it was, it was more important for us to make sure that we um, got close, as close to 400 as we could. Um, and the only way you could do that was really spending time at the middle. Um, you know, I did spend some time at the crease and I find it really tough especially with their seam bowlers bowling at 120 k's an hour, very slow on a slow wicket um, with ring fields, had made it very tough to score. Well, uh, the test match has got ups and downs. That's why it's called a test match. It keeps testing you for five days. And uh, <coughs> over these three days, I think uh, the Zimbabwe boys have fought well. They're still in their hands. And, um, some very good bowling by John Newman, great fielding. And uh, the skipper leading from the front with the bat, and senior baseman Hamilton contributing. Yes, all in all, I think uh, after 10 months without playing test cricket to be back and playing against number one in the world, I think the boys have acquitted themselves well so far. It's actually an honor for me. I didn't actually think about taking the FIFA. Um, it was just a privilege just to represent my country and I'm really glad that things have paved out the way they have. No, he bowled really well. Like I said, the, there's a lot of credit we could give the Zimbabwean team for what they've done well. Um, he bowled a lot of overs um, and he didn't bowl much bad ball. So for a young guy coming and making his debut, um, generally you get a lot of, not a lot, but you get a lot more stuff to it. Um, and, you know, me facing him, I, don't, I didn't get any bad balls from him. So you. He always felt under pressure, um, so he bowled really well. So well done, Timmy. He deserved five wickets. A B D Villiers, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I really enjoyed that wicket. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's an honour to to bowl to the best batter in the world. It's an even bigger honour to to manage to get him out. There's still a lot of time in the game, two days, and uh, we're looking to bat the whole day tomorrow. And a quarter of the day five and put a score the wicket is jumping and turning and uh, it could be interesting south africa betting last it could be very interesting it just uh, reminds me of pakistani <coughs> chasing 250. so yes there's a lot to play for